Good morning, everybody. We're in Drayton, North Dakota. We're going home today. We're only an hour and a half from home. Just gotta cross over the border, pop, skip, and a jump, and we'll be there. Let's get going. Off we go, a little bit of a trailer tug. Trailer is attached. My eyes did not lie to me. We are back. We've got Old Blue in the shop here, all set and ready to go. And uh, I've had a bit of a coolant leak at the back here. You'll see since I parked, you can see there's a little puddle there already. You see that? The coolant line that's going to my heater core under my sleeper for my sleeper heat is leaking again. I just fixed that uh, beginning of winter. It's leaking again from up underneath there. So it happens, life of an owner operator, right? You gotta get her fixed. But the good thing is that I have a, an off switch where I can turn off the coolant going to the, or the, yeah, the coolant going to the back, the, to the heater core. I can turn that off so there's no more coolant going to the back. So the leak isn't going to leak anymore until next winter when I need to use the heat again and I turn it back on. So now I have the engine heater that needs to be fixed before next winter. And I also have the coolant line that's for the heater core in my sleeper that needs to be fixed before next winter. The good thing is I don't have to fix either of those right now. I will mention them to the shop next time it's in there. It's going in for a safety uh, next week. So uh, if it's a safety issue, they'll fix it right off the bat. But I don't think having heat in your sleeper is a safety issue. The heat still works at the front, and I don't even use the heater core in the sleeper. I just like to have it working. And my engine heater isn't a safety issue either. I just like to use that to warm up my engine in the winter time, right? So both of those things I think will be okay to fix later on. I'll let the shop decide that. They're the ones who gotta give me my safety inspection, right? But uh, ah, if, we, if it can wait, we'll wait a couple of months, get some money in the bank for it, and then bring it in. Uh, I'm just glad that I found where it was leaking. Uh, this whole trip, I was looking at my coolant level every morning. And it wasn't below the minimum line, but it was at the minimum line every morning. And this truck doesn't lose any fluid. It doesn't burn or lose any oil. doesn't lose any coolant from, from since I've had it. Very, very, very little. And suddenly, boom, I'm losing like half a gallon every two days. And then the last day, 
Yesterday, I lost half a gallon one day. I'm like, okay, this isn't right. This isn't right. Something's up. So I got back to the shop here. I crawled underneath it and I found out. No wonder. Steady drip coming from the heater core under the sleeper. So I went up in my engine bay. I'll show you. Behind my air dryer here, right behind there, you'll see that there's a, you'll just have to trust me, there's the coolant line that comes up here and then goes behind all of this and it comes up right here, okay? And there's a valve on it there. That's the heater, that goes to the heater core in the back. I just closed the valve and the leaking stopped immediately. So it's a temporary fix, but uh, you know, it'll do the trick for now. But I need to get home. Let's get going. I wanna go home and see my baby and my wife. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. So it feels good to be back home. We went to a birthday party today in the city of Britt's cousin. Uh, their son turned three years old. So, had a fun birthday party, lots of kids and babies there. So this is our backyard at night. Just use the Christmas lights to go around the yard just to light it up like you've seen in past videos. This camera just captures low light better so you can see it better. Yeah, those are red and green there and also over here. That's because the icicles that usually come further up the fence here are hanging on the front of the house still. I still haven't taken our Christmas lights down. This backyard needs some work. I mean, we want, we want to sell this house eventually, right? We're not going to stay here forever, I mean, a few more years. But I'd really like to do some work landscaping this year just to make it, we need to lift it up a little bit. Our property here is lower than those properties behind us there. Those were built after ours and so was this one over here and they all built up obviously because they're smart so they built it up. Which means all the water runs onto our yard and in springtime yeah, it can get a little bit muddy back there, right? It takes longer to dry out. I'd like to just lift it up just a little bit and seed new grass. Sort of make this into a nicer little you know, sitting area outside, but at the same time, I don't know how much work I want to do to it, right? Because we're not going to be here forever. Oh, there goes our light. I just have a solar light up there. There. There's a solar panel on top of the roof right there. About 2.30 in the morning. It's officially Mother's Day. So I'm taking care of him all night and tomorrow. I'm taking care of the house. Anything I can do to make Britt's life easier. Coming home is always awesome. I miss them a lot when I'm gone. If you prop it up just right, he can hold his own bottle. But just for a little while, usually. <laughs> he still doesn't know that he's actually doing it, but... 